Alright, so this video is all about similar triangles and shadow sticks. Uh, now, we'll jump straight into sort of looking at the sort of question that uh, these uh, skills can answer, I guess. Uh, let's say you had a building. Here's our building here. And the sun's way out over here somewhere, right here as, they've, as they're showing here. Now, the shadow that the building casts can tell us something about the height of the building. Um, and we can do that by looking at a smaller object, like a stick, and the shadow that the stick casts. Now, because of um, ratios, the ratio of the stick's height to the stick's shadow is going to be equal to the ratio of the building to the building's shadow. So if you figure out this ratio, you'll be able to figure out this ratio. Uh, now that's the basis behind it. Uh, let's look at the formulas that you're going to need. You're going to need uh, two formulas. You're going to need this formula here. Uh, step one is to find out what the scale factor is. Now scale factor is going to be equal to the length of the building's shadow, the length of the building's shadow, divided by the length of the stick's shadow. Okay, so that's going to be step one. Step two is going to be finding the height of the building. And you use the height, you find the height of the building by taking the height of the stick and multiplying it by the scale factor, which you found in step one. Um, let's actually just do a question. We'll see how this works. Okay. Uh, here you can see there's a, a tree and a person. At the same time as a tree casts a shadow of 14 metres, a 168 centimetre tall girl casts a shadow of 140 centimetres. Find the height of the tree. Uh, give the answer to one decimal place. So step one, let's find the scale factor. Now the scale factor is equal to the length of the building's shadow, length of the building's shadow, divided by the length of the stick's shadow. Now the stick obviously is not a stick in this case. The length of the stick's shadow. So the big shadow di divided by the small shadow. That's probably an easier way to think about it. Scale factor or SF is equal to big shadow divided by small shadow. Alright, so what we have here, uh, where'd my pen go? Okay, length of the building's shadow is, according to this, 14 meters. Now the length of the stick's shadow has been given as 140 centimeters, but you need to put both shadows in the same units. So it's not gonna be 140 centimeters, it's gonna be 1.4 meters, or just 1.4, because they're both in meters. Now if I go to my calculator, it's going to be 14, oops, let's try that again. If I go to my calculator, it's going to be 14 divided by 1.4, and that equals 10. So my scale factor is equal to 10, and that was step one. Step two is to find the height of the building, or in this case, the height of the tree. And the height of the tree in this case is equal to the height of the stick, which is 168 centimetres. But again, we want to talk about that in metres. So it's going to be 1.68 metres times the scale factor. Now, the scale factor in this case is 10. Now, you can put that into your calculator, but that's going to give you 16.8 metres. That means that the height of this tree is equal to 16.8 meters. Now, uh, that was a very, um, I guess, real real world example. You might also just in the textbook get given, or in a test, get given a question that looks like this. Okay. So you have the building, which is this line here. And then you have your shadow stick, which is here. 
and then you might get told this is X um, this is uh, 10 this is 5 and this bit distance from there to there all the way from there to there is 20 now we can solve this question in exactly the same way scale factor is equal to big shadow divided by small shadow now the big shadow in this case is given by that big length along the bottom so that's going to be 20 divided by the small shadow which is from here's our small stick so from the small stick it's 5 that gives us a scale factor of 4 now the height of the building, the height of the large thing, so the height of X here. So the height of building, oops, in other words, X is equal to um, the height of the stick, which is 10, times the scale factor, which is 4. So 10, uh, 10 times scale factor which is 10 times 4 which is 40 okay so only really two formulas to learn in this uh, scale factor equals length of built of big shadow divided by length of small shadow and then height of building equals height of height of stick times the scale factor uh, if you watched, if you've watched those two examples and taken plenty of notes, you shouldn't have too much trouble with those questions.